Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ro. Um, I'm the founder of Strong Prison Lives and Families and I use my years of experience to help prison lives and family members feel educated, empowered, supported, and loved, not only while their loved ones are serving time, but if you stick with me and use the tools that I share with you, he will get out, he will stay out, she will get out, she will stay out, and you guys will live happily ever after. So today's video, I am sharing a visit hack for all of my fashionistas, actually you don't even have to be a fashionista, just if you like to wear a certain style and you're not allowed to wear it to visit, I'm gonna help you. So if you are interested in how to wear jeans with holes to visit, even if you go to a facility that does not allow jeans with holes in them like me, please keep watching. Actually came up while I was creating my winter visit outfit visit outfits of the weekend, visit outfits of the visit day. I don't know how to say it. I always say visit outfit of the day. Does that make sense? Anyway, haul. And I've been doing this for so long, I forget that I have all of these little tricks that I've developed, especially for visits. I've been to hundreds of visits over the years. Um, I always forget that I have these little things until I either I talk about them in a video or I actually do them. Sometimes I do them and I, don't, I forget. I don't even realize that I do them and I forget to share them to, with you guys. So I was talking about this in my video and I brought up my um, wearing jeans with holes in them. We used to be okay with wearing jeans with holes in them unless it was like a huge hole on the knee. But then last summer they changed the rules, no jeans with holes in them. So in my winter, let's see if I could say it, winter <laughs> visit outfit of the day inspiration video, I talked about a pair of jeans that I had but they had kind of illusion holes. So they had what looked like rips in them but behind it, it had um, material, it had the same color denim material and then it was just like frays over it so your skin didn't show, the material behind it showed. So I'm okay with wearing those to visit. However, if you have a pair of jeans that you really like the cut, you really like the way they look on you, you really like the way that they make your shape appear and they have holes in them, I can teach you how to do that yourself. So let's say you have a pair of really distressed, ripped up jeans like these, but you love the way they look, so you wanna wear them to visit. However, skin is showing through your thighs in the holes, so you're not gonna be able to wear that to visit, but you're like, damn, my butt looks really good on these and he likes the way that they look on me and I'd love for him to see them on me. I've got you, girl. So here's what I've done in the past. I have a few little tips and tricks, and if you try them, let me know. So first of all, just like the other jeans that came with the material behind them, you can do that yourself. So I bought these little, um, they're kind of like, they're iron-on patches um, at Michael's. They were, there's always a Michael's coupon. So there was a 50% off coupon today. I took a picture and I will insert it in the video here because I don't remember exactly how much they cost, but around $3, maybe a little bit over $3. But since they were 50% off, I got them for $1.50 or a little bit more depending on the exact cost of them. And I liked these because they had different color denim. So I could save these for denim that I need in the future. They have black. It had a very, very light wash and then it had like a, a dark blue wash i wear that color a lot um and that's it so i want you guys to remember one thing though these are patches for the outside of the denim and if you want that if you like that look that would be really cute because that's kind of um a style that came back is like you can um shape cut this into a shape that you like kind of like a square or you could leave it the shape it is that's no problem but you can cut it into a cute shape and you could just patch right over the jean. But if you're going to do this on the inside, so it appears you still see the hole, but it makes more of an illusion hole. Do you see what I mean? See, no skin is showing. You're going, just remember, the side that irons on is gonna be the sticky part. So if I do this backwards, which I've done before and that's okay, just remember that's the sticky part. So you want to put the sticky part on the material where the hole is. However, so you're just gonna follow the directions on here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wash your jeans, make sure that they're washed, they're completely dried, they're clean, and then you want to heat the iron for about five minutes. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the patch exactly where you want it. If you wanna cut it, you're gonna do that now. Um, I would do that while the iron is heating just because I'm all about saving time because I'm lazy and I wanna get things done as quick as possible, let's be real, that's why. And then you're going to um, hold the iron 
Well, you're gonna put the patch where you want it. Remember, sticky side on the material, right? Because you want this to stick. So if you're wearing it, if you're putting it over the hole this way like a patch, you're gonna put that down. If you're putting them inside your pants this way, you need to put the patch, let's turn these inside out so I can make this easier. I always make things so much longer and more complicated than they have to be. I promise it's not complicated, but you're gonna turn these inside out. This is the inside of the pant leg, and then you're going to put this sticky side down. Make sure, I've made this mistake, make sure you put a towel on the end, where my hand is, make sure that that's a towel because you're gonna stick this on. I'm trying not to open these because I don't need them, so I wanna return them, but you're gonna stick this on here with the sticky side down. So you don't want to press that flat onto the opposite side of the jean and then have these glued together, right? You wanna put a towel under there and then you're gonna iron it. You're gonna hold the iron as long as this says, this says, um, let's see, 40 to 45 seconds. So you're gonna hold the iron for whatever your patch says, but this one says 45 seconds, you're gonna hold that on there and then you're gonna lift it off. You're gonna make sure that it actually sticks. Give it a couple minutes to cool so the adhesive really gels in there and then you're gonna flip your pants right side in, right side in, right side out, right side out. Makes more sense, I've never heard of that though. Um, and then you're gonna just peel it away from the towel. Now guys, listen, I'm gonna teach you a better trick. I've done that before, it works. And when you're done with Visit, you could peel that off. You might have a little bit of the glue on the inside, but it's not that big of a deal. I've done it, I've peeled it off. I've worn the jeans again, like to work and stuff. And I've had no problem with my pants. So I can wear them like that to Visit and then I can make them. It's not like they're stuck like that forever, unless you like that. What I prefer to do is I, where do these go? I take these, I take a little bit of needle and thread. And I literally just do a couple of stitches and I will sew the patch either to the inside or the outside of the pants. Personally, I like it on the inside of the pants. This way, when you're done with visit, you just, all you have to do is just take a little fabric scissor and cut those couple of stitches out and the patch is out of your pants and it's reusable. Plus, the last time I did this on a pair of light lavender jeans, I put a white patch on the inside. It didn't look great, but it worked for all intents and purposes and it didn't look horrible. However, I used the iron, the sticky part, and it ruined a little bit the inside of those lavender jeans because they were a thinner material. They weren't like a nice thick denim. Like these are lucky brands, like a nicer, thicker denim. The other ones were Target brand. So um, it just kind of made them a little bit, um, it kind of thinned out the material a little bit and it left it kind of crunchy. Like it was almost burned buy the iron. For me personally, I'd rather buy these once. And then this is just from the dollar store, just a sewing kit. The reason it's in a Ziploc is because I've used it a couple of times. Just stitch that, just a couple of stitches just to keep them in so no skin shows. And then you take that out. Another thing, so that's my favorite way to hide the pockets, or to hide the um, holes. And you still have the illusion of a, of a nice, funky, distressed, tear jean. No skin shows. It is just an illusion, according to the people that are checking you in, and you should be good to go. You can also use, for your smaller holes, this adhesive tape, also from Michaels. Um, this is called Heat and Bond Ultra Hold. What it really, I think, is used for is hem. It's hem tape. So if you want to hem your pants, and you can't really sew well, or you don't want to sew well, you put the tape in there you fold them to where they hem, you iron it down, and it's very similar to the patch, it keeps it hemmed. However, you can take, if you don't have big open holes, but you just kind of have more of like, you just wanna put these two, like you just wanna kind of tighten this all up and put these two pieces together, then you can just on the inside, the same exact way that you did it before with the iron. You're just gonna hold these pieces together. You're gonna put that strip of adhesive on there. You're gonna hold the iron down on it. You follow the directions on the back of this thing. This is um, six seconds for light fabrics and then eight seconds for um, until the whole entire piece is bonded for thicker fabric. So I would do, this is me, I would do probably 10 seconds. But 
that's going to hold this together. I don't know how well you're going to be able to peel this off. I've never done this before, but while I was in Michael's today, I saw this and I was like, oh, that's really cool just for like, like a little open tear, you know? So if you want to, if you have a pair of jeans that, I don't love these that much and I don't wear them very often, so I might practice with these and if I ruin them, not really a big deal, but you might not want to practice with like your favorite pair of jeans because just in case you can't get it off I'm sure you could peel it off or cut through it, but just in case you don't want to ruin your pants, if you really, really, really love them. Or what you can do sometimes I do is you have your pair of pants that you love. Let's say they're not too, too expensive. Then you buy the same exact pair for a visit. So you buy the same exact pair. If they're like $20 jeans, I wouldn't do this with like $100 jeans, but I don't wear $100 jeans. Um, but you know, you buy your second pair and then you fix those up for visit so you have the ones that you like the way they look on your body but they're all fixed up so you don't have to worry about taking the hem or the um the whole coverage on and off another way that you can do uh fix yourself fix your holes or the distresses in your jeans that you want to wear to visit that you can't get through is to just buy a patch and just patch over it right now like patches are kind of in style you see them like all over jackets you can get all different kinds you can get there were ones in there that were like wonder woman supergirl they had all different kinds and again i would personally wait for them to go on sale because they were from like fort at michael's they were about 4.99 all the way to about 7.99 so i did not buy one to show you because i'm not going to use it but um even 50% off, like I just didn't want to spend the money on that. But if you have ones that you like, you can just make these like really fun, funky, patchy, distressed and patchy jeans and just cover the big holes with those patches and they work the same way. You iron them right on, you follow the directions right on there. Another thing you could do that is less permanent because those patches I believe are gonna stay on there. If you peel them off, I'm sure it's gonna leave some sort of a residue or something. So make sure you do it um, to a pair of pants, either that you don't love or you definitely 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 want those patches on there another thing you could do um is just this is totally temporary and it's just to get you through visit but you i have um fashion tape so this is double sided um tape my sisters and i call it boob tape because like this shirt is a perfect example that i should be wearing tape here because my sister works in fashion and this shirt was a prototype at one of their stores and clearly um wasn't good because it's kind of lower cut here and if i was let's say out dancing or something in the shirt i could have a little malfunction so i would take this double-sided tape and i would just put it on the inside of the shirt tape it down to my skin so the shirt doesn't actually move but it's temporary i don't have to like sew my shirt or you can't safety pin anything when you're going into visit so you could do that you could use the double-sided tape and you could physically put it on your skin and then you can put the other side close the holes with the tape so then they are ta literally taped shut all the way through visit and then you just take it off when you're done so you don't have to worry about um doing any kind of iron on with the adhesive that could potentially ruin your pants but this is like if uh, i would suggest if you have like an hour visit if you have like a six or an eight hour visit i don't think that this is going to work for you because um it could it could you could move it could open up and then you don't want to get yourself in trouble and thrown out that would suck but this is really good for like if you have let's say like a cold shoulder shirt or a bra strap that's coming out if you have um if you're allowed to wear open sleeves but you're not allowed to show your bra then just like tape your shirt down because this way your bra strap won't show and you'll be able to get through awesome i live by this stuff next thing you could do i've done before is you just take your this is again dollar store you just take your needle and thread I am not a sewer, but you could just do quick stitches and just literally close, sew your holes shut and then wear them, right? So they're all sewn shut, so you have no skin showing. And then when you're done, you can just literally pull out that thread. They're open back up, nothing's ruined, and you wore your jeans into visit. You could also, you guys, make your own patches. So if you don't want to go out and spend three dollars or you don't like the colors that are available there were all different colors including white all different color denim different colors they had khaki they had black you name it they had it but let's say you don't like any of it or honestly you just don't feel like spending a few dollars you can take any fabric you have in your house you can take an old t-shirt you can take um old leggings or something and you can cut them into the shape into the size you need 
sew them in to the to the pants and then like I said earlier you just loosen up those stitches pull out the string and then when you're done you have your jeans back you could also try this I do not know if this will work or not but I've thought about doing this is wearing um, thick opaque tights underneath your pants or like leggings underneath your pants if they're looser so no skin shows I don't know if the problem is actually the skin showing which that's what it should be or if it's the physical holes in the jeans if it's the physical it's how the people who are processing are interpreting the rules right so some people might say it's cool if there's hole in your jeans but you have a separate pair of pants underneath them you should be able to get in so that's another thing you could do is just wear tights thick tights that you can't see any skin underneath the jeans you don't have to do anything to your jeans and you can potentially depending on the place depending on how strict they are depending on how they interpret the rules wear them that way so you guys i hope this helped you um if you give it a try let me know as always make sure you have backup make sure you have backup so just in case somebody doesn't like what you do you can get yourself in that day you can run out to the car you can run to the lockers you can change and you can get in i always say have something that is full proof fail safe have gotten in before you know something like that that a nun would wear that you cannot have any problems i mean that with all due, due respect i was raised catholic i'm just saying something very very conservative or professional that um is within the colors that you can wear that is within the um, the tightness, the material, the opac opacity, 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 whatever the word is, the thickness of the material so it's not see-through, that you can wear, etc. And so not enough, not metal, not distressed, just plain, 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 and so you can get in. Um, you guys, make sure if you like these videos, make sure if you like any of these videos, I would so appreciate it if you give them a thumbs up. I would love if you subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video in the future um, and ding that notification bell so you can get a notification to either your email or your phone, depending on how you have your settings set up and if you have the YouTube app downloaded to your phone. So you're notified, uh, notified, so you're notified, so you are notified as soon as I post a video and, um, share it with anybody who needs it. Keep staying strong, keep loving strong, keep supporting one another through this journey because you're one day closer to it all being behind you. Lots of love from my heart to yours. I will see you beautiful men and women in the next one. But until then, keep being resourceful. Keep taking the clothes that you like to wear and making them visit approvable. Approvable, approved. I don't know. I think it's time for lunch. It's three o'clock and we changed the clocks last night. And, um, Clearly, I am tongue-tied for a reason. It's probably hangry. Bye, guys.